My name is Noel Nelson and I currently work at the Met Office. The Met Office is a very large organisation and um, a lot of people know them for the weather forecasting work they do but this is only a small amount of the work they get involved in. Uh, a lot of it is very environmentally based and the group that I work in looks into atmospheric dispersion modelling. So we look at anything that might be dispersed in the atmosphere. An event that happened uh, in 2010 that everyone will remember is the, uh, the, the eruption of uh, a volcano in Iceland, that, uh, whose name I can't pronounce, that uh, stopped a lot of flights in the atmosphere. The Met Office modelled uh, the movement of a volcanic material, looking at various uh, positions in the atmosphere to see exactly how concentrated the, uh, the um, material was. And this information was then given to the Civil Aviation Authority, who then made the decision, um, along with um, engineers, as to whether or not the planes should be allowed to fly. If we have a problem of something going wrong in the atmosphere, and like the fact that there are various tools around that you can use to help provide solutions, I like the fact that um, the work that I do, and most of my time spent at work, is going towards improving the environment. So I'm not hopefully part of the problem, but part of the solution. There's far more good work going on um, than people realise. And uh, over the years, certainly since I've been doing especially air quality type work, I have witnessed big improvements in, 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 in the state of the atmosphere. Um, even where I live, I live on a main road, and I know that uh, that main road, the, the, the air quality of that main road has improved remarkably over the last 10 years. Um, so I think it is true that we, 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 are, we have to know about some of the more dismal aspects of the environment. However, we do get to know what's going on in order to try and um, to, to, to respond to that. And to be part of that response is what's really quite heartening, I think. <laughs>